One of the most important things, and actually one of the most exciting things about working on Tiny Giants, was taking the viewer down into the world that these animals live. And it's a tiny world where the physics of the world and the nature of the world looks completely different. And I think one of the sequences that shows that best is the flash flood sequence. The Arizona desert is a remarkable place. The temperatures there can hit over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And that bakes the ground so hard that it becomes like, almost like concrete and it means water can't really penetrate through. So when there's a really heavy downpour, the rain doesn't sink into the ground, but it runs off and creates a torrent of water that can create what we call a flash flood. For that to happen, there has to be more than two inches or so of rain falling within six hours. And in Arizona, that happens maybe just once or twice a year. But if that does happen, then the water can be channeled down steep-sided canyons or gullies, and it creates a wall of water that can, that can travel at extraordinary speeds. Now, that may not be such a problem for a human being, but if you're a tiny creature, only six inches tall, that's like being faced with a tsunami. Most of the creatures that live in a desert are adapted to be able to cope with absolute dry, hot, you know, really tough life. But all life needs some water. And these flash floods and these occasional rainstorms do allow water to spread across the desert. And so there is water for the plants and therefore some of the animals. So that's, it's a lifeline for the creatures that live in the desert. To see the world from a completely different perspective, to see what it looks like when you're only this high, to experience a flash flood in the deserts of Arizona, watch Tiny Giants. <laughs>